Scott Wadrick, U.S. College Hockey Online. Uh, we, I don't think from the press box we could really tell what the crowd experience would have been like for you guys. Can you talk just about the weather conditions and what the crowd was like uh, from your vantage point? Um, well, the crowd was unbelievable. I mean, right, off, right from the moment, you know, it was pretty loud out there. Um, it was a great atmosphere to play a hockey game, just like uh, Coach York mentioned. Unbelievable venue, and uh, the fan support was awesome out there. Um, playing conditions was everything we expected. You know, the snow added a little bit extra factor. Uh, I think Coach referred to it a little bit earlier. You know, with the snow, I think we were thinking a little bit too much early on in the game, and um, you could tell their play. You know, when they're making crisp plays and thinking a little bit too much, not keeping it simple, hurt us. So. Uh, that was something we had to adjust to in the second half, and definitely, you know, the, the, the passes weren't as crisp. Uh, handling the puck was a little bit more difficult, but um, all in all, it was an awesome place to uh, to play hockey. More questions for Matt? Uh, Kevin Edelson, Inside Hockey. <coughs> Matt, can you talk about how big that goal was at the end of the second period? It seemed like you guys were struggling to find your uh, step early on, and all of a sudden, after that goal, uh, at the end of the second, and then. At the beginning of the third period, you guys seem to really find your legs and make things difficult for you. Yeah, for sure. I think we were looking for uh, you know just just anything to get us going. Uh, you can see on the bench, guys were trying to pick each other up and just waiting for that little spark, and that was huge to get us going, going into the locker room there. And uh, you know, we, we weren't able to pull it out, but I think we had a pretty good third period and in the locker room going into that third. We were pretty positive. We knew that that goal gave us some life and some ability to to know that we we could ha have a shot at it going into the third. <clears throat> Some often daily free press. Uh, do you think that slow start could in any way be attributed to some sort of shock factor or anything like that of playing on the big stage? Um, no, I don't think so. I think we've got a pretty good group in there. I don't think guys were too phased by it. We talked about that earlier today, and I think guys did a good job focusing in and trying to just focus on the task at hand and not get too too involved in the atmosphere. Uh, you guys went just one for eight on the power play. You just talk about either what didn't work for you or what the features that could do to stop you. You know, that was a disappointing part of our game for sure, especially the 5 on 3 uh, You know, that's a golden opportunity to uh, put some points on the board. Uh, I think our, these conditions are, you know, outdoor ice, little wind, the, the uh, snow, it's, you know, if we, had to do, if we had to do it over again, we'd just think about shooting pucks, you know, trying not to make many passes. Uh, it made it difficult for the power play to, to execute three or four passes because of the conditions, and I think our... You know, the, the game plan should have been just back to the point, shoot pucks, and but that that certainly uh, was one of the key factors in the in the game. You know, if we could have capitalized on some more power plays, you know, Paul Carey late in the second, that was a terrific run to daylight when he came across and beat, but it wasn't a result of money passes. It was hard to pass the puck, keep everything flat, and make uh, you know, those back door plays that you like to make. So it was, if I had to do over again, I'd think more about just back to the point and shoot it. But he did a nice job uh, blocking shots when he did try to shoot from the point. More questions for Coach York. Tristan Hobbs, WTVU. Uh, Coach, you think it was an um, equalizing factor tonight, playing outdoors and kind of played to more of a BU style of game, slowing it down? You guys seem to be a more fast-paced team. No, I think uh, the conditions are affected both teams. You know, our, it became more of a... <clears throat> To a football team, it would be more a running, running type game. You know, uh, late in the season, uh, cold weather. You know, the quarterbacks weren't going to be able to make many plays. You yeah, need those big linemen and good backs. Like and this was more of that type of game. Right here, coach. The power play struggle tonight, and it's been struggling for uh, much of the last couple of months. After such a hot start to begin the season, what do you think, if anything, has changed uh, with the power play since that hot start? You know, it's something that runs in cycles. Are I think we have good personnel, and we just got to uh, keep grinding, and, and you know, our good things will happen for us. But certainly, uh, tonight, like we talked about, the one for eight's not a, it's not going to win many games. Coach, can you talk about the last week? In hockey? <coughs> I'm starting with the classic, that's uh, the World Junior win, and in addition, general, what this week has done for the sport. Well, it's been a banner week for uh, hockey at all levels. I think. Uh, like you said, the NHL was here, the World Juniors are, it's certainly college hockey, so I think it's been a big boost for, for our, our sport. World Junior gold medal and played a game like this within less than a year. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, it was definitely a whirlwind of a couple of weeks. And you said it right, uh, starting back all the way to April when we won the national championship. I mean, everyone remembers that game. And then going to uh, Saskatoon to play for our Team USA was definitely a special opportunity for me again. And, um, you know, it's definitely an unbelievable feeling uh, raising that gold. And uh, then to come back here and do what we did tonight, it's just uh, hopefully I'll take a couple of days off if Coach lets me after oh. this. And uh, <laughs> just kind of uh, soak everything in. Uh, I haven't even celebrated Christmas yet with my family, so I'll go home and do that for a couple Merry days. Merry Christmas, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, I'm going to go home and do that and, you know, just kind of uh, just look back on everything that's happened in the past couple months and soak it all in. It's a pinch me situation for a kid from down the street. Yeah, I mean, uh, growing up, uh, Every kid dreams about even coming to a game at Fenway and then to be part of something like this is definitely a special opportunity. David, uh, can you talk about your celebration after the uh, goalie score? Is that something you planned or was that a score of the moment then? Uh, I mean, I have to give some credit to Adam Krause. He, uh, he kind of came up with it before the game and, you know, I figured if I score, <coughs> I'd go with it. I don't know if the coaches were too happy about it, but... Sure. Just, uh, hopefully he doesn't see that on film either, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always thought I'd bring something back to, uh, you know, we're, it's a baseball venue, but we're playing hockey out there, so I decided to bring something back to it. Question for Nick. Nick, uh, can you just talk about that lead meeting goal, uh, how that play developed? Um, yeah, Kieran uh, came to the bench on delayed penalty, and uh, Scoops put the puck across the slot, and uh, I was the guy that hopped on and just came uh, came right to my stick. Uh, and I tried to put it on net, and we had uh, Zach Cohen, I think, in front, and Wade just chipping away at it. And uh, you know, we went to the net hard all night, and uh, they just got rewarded on that goal. Nick, you're, you're pretty good friends with uh, Cam Atkinson. Did you have any conversation uh, with him before the game and the days leading up, or any friendly wager, or any uh, friendly conversation during the game with him? Uh, no, I know. I know. I talked to him a couple of days before. Uh, we were talking about the Under Armour gear we got. It's something that everyone was pretty excited about wearing the hoods and all that. Um, and then not really on the ice. I know we faced off once uh, at the beginning of the second period, uh, and I'm pretty sure I came away with the win there. But um, yeah, it was good. It, it's fun to share an experience like that, even though we're on different sides. Uh, it's good to you know have that. I know Dave's friends with a bunch of guys on their team, so you know it's something that both teams have, and it'll be cool to talk about it down there. Um, as a coach, you know, these guys are kids, and allowing them to enjoy themselves and the kind of the experience, and also focusing on the game and kind of balancing those two things. If we were playing anybody else, I would say that would be a problem. Uh, I've said this for thirty odd years. You know, they, but people, are, what's your pep talk when you play BC? Well, it's real simple. We're playing BC tonight, boys. That's the only pep talk you ever need. Uh, I don't think we were going to get unfocused because. We were playing BC. If we were playing somebody else, we might have. I was unfocused at the time. I, you know, somebody asked the question, what was the, what was the moment you'll take away? Uh, it'd be hard, you know, I, my, my two grandchildren skating with us at the practice on Wednesday. Uh, the, the practice we had this morning with the snow coming down, it was, it was surreal. It was, it was uh, really, really romantic. <laughs> it was cool. Uh, and then... Uh, the way, the way the game evolved, I thought there were some good plays made. I thought both teams played really well, uh, played smart hockey. There wasn't, sometimes when you're playing a bean pot in a big game, the excitement of the game gets everybody all jacked up and they get pulled out of position and make some mistakes. I don't think uh, there were a lot of mistakes made out there tonight either. Hockey's usually a game of mistakes, but it was a pretty thorough game by both clubs tonight, I thought. So uh, I don't really see anything that jumped out at me other than the fact that I said to Jerry York before the game, I said to the referees halfway through the first period, uh, the third period, they happened to come over the boys and say, hey, how lucky are we? You know, how lucky are we to be involved in this? Uh, it was really something that way. And I'm, I'm, great, I'm grateful to the Red Sox and the Hockey East for being able to put this together. I have a lot of gratitude for the opportunity to coach my team in, in such a fantastic venue. And a game, as I say, we'll all remember as long.